Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well. Today's video is actually going to be a trend focused video today. Now, as you know, my channel is all about kind of rewiring, restyling, and quite a minimal classic timeless style. And that is just kind of a summary of my style in general. That said, I think you'll probably have noticed that I do like to inject some very subtle trend pieces into my wardrobe. And by trend, I think that's quite a broad category um, of things. And I really want to concentrate on one specific style of trend or concept of trend that I think is most useful, most wearable, most accessible, and also that you kind of not investing in a trend and then only wearing it once. So today I'm going to talk about seven different trends I would personally call them micro trends. They're kind of subtle details um, and twists to the outfit um, that make it feel a little bit more fresh and contemporary. I've mentioned this several times before, but to me, I like to focus on trends that aren't really a trend, um, but they're more just a classic item that's maybe having a spotlight moment. Just one of those pieces we probably always have in our wardrobes lying around somewhere, but are maybe just having a real minute. And they're the pieces that are stand out and that make your wardrobe feel fresh. And that's what I wanted to preface today's video with. So it's not necessarily about trends. I think we just associate trends with like a kind of fast fashion, but that's not what I want to do today. It's just those pieces, classic, simple pieces that we can inject into our wardrobe to spice things up a bit and make feel quite contemporary because at the end of the day, this is fashion. It's still meant to be fun and having those elements to it can give your classic pieces a new burst of energy. So let's get into uh, my trend number one. So number one is maxi skirts. So obviously longer skirts have been around for a long time now, I think. They're not going anywhere. They've become a real staple in our wardrobe, a very timeless piece to have. No longer midi skirt in your wardrobe, but I'd say the past season and the seasons coming, we're going to see a slightly longer hem length. And just a focus on those longer skirts. So you may already have a midi in your wardrobe. You can absolutely use this to fit in with the theme and use that as your kind of maxi length. Um, but for me, I've gone for this longer length for my example, um, it's this River Island skirt, this camel one. It also comes in black, which is so useful. I have a black one from Pixie Market that I actually wore at the weekend. I'll get more into that in a minute because I'm actually wearing it for one of my next clips, but I have a black one as well and I find them so useful for all seasons. And I think if you don't have an, a complete floor length one, I think then it doesn't feel so much of a trend thing if you have just a longer midi. Um, it feels, again, just really classic and timeless, but you've still got that nod to the trends um, and it just feels quite cool. So I'm wearing it here with this cropped boxy jumper from Marsala. I like to mix the long maxi skirt up with something boxier on top, something with a shoulder, maybe something a little bit cropped. Crop shirts are in at the moment, bomber jackets, I'm gonna be talking about those in a second. Crop jackets, um, things like that, boxy jumpers, I think complement the maxi really nicely. And then going into spring and summer, how we can think about it then, you can wear it with a t-shirt or a simple shirt would look so nice with this. Um, I'm styling it with boots here, but again, you could go for some trainers, trainers in these maxi skirts, I think look really cool. And again, that's like a look at the minute, the trainer with the maxi skirt, um, it feels very on trend, but they're essentially two classic pieces. Everyone owns some trainers, everyone probably owns a longer skirt. So put them together and you've instantly got more of a trend led outfit. So it's not necessarily about buying into those trends, but it's what do you already have in your wardrobe that maybe lends itself to those trends and how you can pair them differently so it feels more of an on-trend look. So continuing on from that a bit, we've got trend number two, which is bomber jackets. So the way I've styled the bomber here, this is the one I'm wearing today. It's from Marsala London. I absolutely adore this. Ironically, I'd been looking at this on their site for a while. I've been looking for a bomber jacket for a little while now because it's something I don't own 
and it's something I felt would kind of update my wardrobe but still be wearable and I think the concept here really is more of a grown-up bomber jacket to me that is what I think will sit well in my wardrobe over time a sophisticated grown-up bomber jacket I'll be able to wear that time and time again it doesn't feel too kind of street looking and then this morning I actually got a delivery from Marcella London who are I um, collaborate with on a regular basis and they'd sent this bomber over so I was like this is absolutely perfect timing I wanted to put the bomber in the video today um, and I wanted to do a demonstration but I thought I'll just talk about this bomber jacket just kind of and maybe insert a picture but then it arrived so I could do a cutaway of my own but I'm so excited to style this in lots of different ways and this lighter boucle shade will look really nice throughout the spring as well um, again styled with loads of different things I've gone for the pixie market maxi skirt which I mentioned in the previous trend about maxi skirts this is the pixie market one that I was telling you about um, and I've styled it here with the bomber and like I said about how to style the maxi skirt you can go for more of a bomber kind of a cooler look with that maxi skirt which is probably a little bit more feminine and it's nice to give that contrast with the more modern bomber finished it off with some heeled boots and a belt this is how I would style it for evening but I wanted to show how much you can get wear out of this so I thought I'd show you a lot more of a casual look with the bomber jacket and I feel like you can also do everything in between so my next look I've got on this jogger set from weekend and beyond in this gray oversized scarf and a pair of trainers and I think this equally complements the bomber style and I think again this like blue clay kind of dresses it up a little bit gives it that nice smart casual feel but I really just wanted to show that this trend I wouldn't say a bomber is really a trend is probably a jacket that's kind of always around but I'd say as, as I said before it's having that spotlight moment but it just shows how versatile this is and it's not a one-time wear this is something you're going to be able to wear time and time again you could style something like this for the office if you wanted to with some smarter trousers or a, a, again a maxi skirt for the office in the evening you could really dress this up with a dress underneath or you could go for something more casual like I've done some joggers or some slouchy jeans uh, some leather trousers there's loads of different ways you can wear this and incorporate it into your wardrobe and I'm really excited to get styling this actually so that sort of leads on to my trend number three which is a similar sort of category to this grown-up bomber and that is the cropped cardigan or jacket so I've gone for my one as a demonstration from Massimo Dutti. I'd say this is more of a cardigan, but um, equally the style of this reflects a lot of jackets that are around. Um, I've got a couple more jackets style uh, pieces like this um, with a bit more structure. This is a bit more of a relaxed cardigan version, but essentially it's the idea of this very, very ladylike collarless um, jacket cardigan, very Chanel-esque boxy cropped um, maybe has some buttons down it um, but I think just that look again is having a spotlight moment I did a whole do's and don'ts video last week of cropped jackets and how to style them so if you want to kind of dig into this a little bit further and dig into this video further then I've got more content on each one of these and I can continue doing that so I've actually got a reel on my Instagram which is all about maxi skirts um, and how to style those do's and don'ts and I also last week like I said have the crop jackets do's and don'ts on my YouTube channel so if you want to kind of deep dive into that you can do again what I love about this is I think I mentioned it in the other video but this is something that your grandma maybe owns already or it's something like an older relative might have in their wardrobes from years ago as I said it's very Chanel-esque that traditional timeless ladylike jacket that maybe we have a rendition of in our wardrobes already or maybe your mum has one that you could borrow from her it really is a classic timeless piece that's having a spotlight moment and a really easy way to do this and make it feel fresh and on trend is just with some slouchy denim like I'm wearing here I've got these Zara jeans on with it and I think the important thing is really to contrast it with something a little bit opposite, um, maybe a little bit tougher, like the denim or some leather, uh, a leather midi skirt. But I think really to contrast it in some way 
is the way to style it and the ultimate way to style it. And what I love about these is that they work really nicely now, bit of a layering piece, add some warmth to your winter wardrobe, but equally you can wear them in spring and summer. So I'm showing you here another example of how you could wear this. Again, just to show the versatility of these, I want to kind of um, break away the traditional idea and concept of a trend as being that one-time wear thing. You can actually wear and wear and wear these pieces. So I've styled this cardigan in a totally opposite way with um, the striped t-shirt from Arquette. Again, some lighter denim this time, but still the denim to add some toughness to the outfit and some ballet flats. So I think all together, this look feels pretty classic, timeless, but I think it just feels like you're having you know a nod to the trend with this kind of jacket and you can wear this in loads of different ways I could even see this with some kind of slouchy denim shorts or even some like white tailored shorts I think would look quite chic with this in summer you can wear them with some sandals we can wear them with trainers you can wear it with um, boots so there's loads of different ways you can style these cropped jackets so trend number four is the 80s earring So I'd say this is more of a micro trend. It's just something I've kind of been noticing and something I wanted to pick up on in my own wardrobe. But I really feel these vintage, big, flat style of earrings are really having that uh, spotlight again. I, l I personally love that kind of late 80s, early 90s, supermodel glam kind of look and these earrings um, really lend themselves nicely to that and I think what's great about earrings is that they're seasonless you can wear them now I actually wore them on Saturday evening and went for a drink with one of my friends and I wore these with the pixie market maxi skirt and an Eero jumper and they worked perfectly for a winter's evening but also I think these are gonna look so good like with beach wear or in, on holiday in the evening with a really nice dress. I think I could just see these working so well. Now I um, have a bit of a thing about clip on earrings. I find them really uncomfortable. I'm sure a lot of you probably feel the same about clip ons, but so many of these styles in this kind of flat shape come as a clip on. So I've been searching around on the internet and I eventually found some from Etsy, which were actually a stud and they're really lightweight. I'm not sure if these will still be around because I feel like they are an actual vintage earring. Um, it was from an American seller, so I did have to pay some fees for extra shipping, but I couldn't find anything with a proper back like this. I'll try and keep digging around to see what I can find. You might be fine with clip-ons because you can find lots of clip-on styles like this, but yeah. I struggled a little bit. She was a great seller. I'll see if I can link below. She might have other similar things. I do just love this style. I think we might be seeing things like big shells coming in. Just that very 80s look, maybe with a pearl in the middle. I actually asked my mum if she's got any old ones from the 80s, but I'm not sure she does. She said she might have one pair, so I need to check. I think if you, again, if you can borrow some jewelry from older relatives that they maybe had the first time around, um, I just think they look so good. And then pair them with things like your bomber jackets, something a little bit cooler, a bit more modern, and style it in that way so you don't feel like you're kind of doing a throwback. But yeah, I'm just obsessed with these. So trend number five is mixing metallics. So metallics are definitely going to be big for the new season, but again, I mean a metallic is just a shade. Gold and silver are always in fashion, according to me anyway. I love gold and silver all times of year, particularly around Christmas and the festive season, I think then is the time to go all out with your metallics. But what we're gonna see now going forward is that metallics transitioning for all year round, which I am all on board with. So I've styled my Amy Lynn uh, silver trousers here for the daytime. And I think that's another thing we're going to see is that these metallics can be worn in the day and not just winter as well. For summer too, I think they're gonna look so good. So I've gone for my metallic trousers. I've put my Adidas Continentals with them and these have gold in. So then I'm mixing the gold and the silver. Just a simple sweatshirt and a coat from Sana New York. Finished off with these mega earrings and then a Demelier bag with some gold hardware on. So we are thinking about mixing your metals, mixing your tones and I absolutely love this look. 
If you're not a fan of mixing them, then I think maybe pick one. I love the silver trousers at the minute, but I think silver anything um, looks really good. Silver, again, having a spotlight moment, but silver is something, like I say, it's just a color, or well, just a metal. So um, it's always around, but it's having a spotlight moment. Um, and I just love the idea of mixing these together. It's really fun. If you don't want to go all out with the trousers, I've got a silver Arquette scrunchie, which I think might be sold out, but this is just a kind of suggestion of how you could do it a bit more toned down. I've got the scrunchie and then kept on my big gold earrings. So we've got silver scrunchie and gold earrings. So you could do something like that, or you could even mix metals with your jewelry. Monica Vinader actually do a really nice gold and silver Ulta bracelet, which I have as well. Um, so that's a really nice way to do it. But just subtle things like that you could do. You don't have to go all out if that's not you. But some accessories and mixing them, I think looks really cool. So trend number six is cargo jeans. So cargo trousers, again, a wardrobe staple, some would say, but I think we're seeing them in a bit more of a jean format this year. Again, very wearable. Essentially, it's just some denim, so there should be lots of ways for you to style cargo denim. I've got these ones on from Mango. I've just kept the rest of the outfit really classic and simple, and I think that's a good idea to balance your slightly more trend pieces with those classic wardrobe staples. And that's really kind of what I base my style on. I just usually add a little twist to all of my classic pieces. So I've gone for this black coat, black jumper, some simple boots, um, and then I've got my finished look really easy. But then the cargo trousers just spice it up a little bit and add some interest to the look. So I don't think it necessarily has to be cargo jeans, but if you do have some cargo trousers lying around that you've not worn, for years and years. Um, I know I've had some in the past and I've just kind of not worn them and then I've sold them and I've been really annoyed at myself because I think, why sell them when they're a classic? And then they might kind of come back as a, as a staple. So um, they are classics. You can dig them out of your wardrobe. I imagine a lot of you can anyway, especially a classic cargo uh, khaki style. And then think about reinventing them and how to wear them in more modern ways. And then just think about reinventing them um, with your current wardrobe. So trend number seven is Mary Jane shoes. We're going to be seeing a lot more of these, I think. Lots of ballet flats and these nod to that ballet flat trend again. As I've said throughout the video, the trends I've chosen to focus on here and the trends that I think work for me and my wardrobe and the ones that are most wearable, versatile are essentially traditional pieces like ballet flats, Mary Janes. They're very traditional pieces, but they're having a moment. So I've got these ones on from Koi Bird, my velvet ones, and I'm actually so excited to wear these in the summer. I think they will look so nice. I saw somebody on holiday last year wearing a kind of green velvet pair, not dissimilar to this, and I thought that velvet looked so nice in the summer. Um, so you don't have to just wear the velvet ones for winter or darker ones for winter. Think about how you can mix those up for spring and summer. I'm just wearing them here with some simple jeans and a jumper. So you really just can wear a pair of shoes like this with anything and I think they give your outfit a little bit of something different. A very simple classic outfit gives them a twist with the Mary Janes. And then I'm also styling my Loeffler Randall ones, um, which I ordered last year from the US. I don't think I paid fees on these import fees. I'm pretty sure I didn't. They're really comfortable, easy to wear, and I ordered them at the end of last year, kind of more autumn time. So I've not really got to wear them as much as I wanted to yet. So I'm excited to now bring them out as, well, the seasons will change in a few months time, but um, I'm excited to kind of bring them out then. I would style them with absolutely everything in my wardrobe. I love them with this long um, satin skirt. Again, any of the maxi skirts that I've shown in the video would work really nicely with these. With loose oversized jumper on top, just feels very chic, very effortless. All these classic pieces coming together um, and then just given a twist by these more trend pieces. Um, I just think it really works nicely. There's loads of Mary Janes around at the moment. I know Massimo Duty have a really nice pair. There are loads of websites doing them right now because I just think they do look so chic um, and they do just give that twist to a very simple outfit. So that is all my trends. 
I actually think one of my next videos this week, maybe not, I don't know at what point I'm gonna upload it, but I think one of the next ones I'm going to film is going to be all about classic evergreen pieces that you can have in your wardrobe. So it's kind of all of the pieces that can be styled with the trend pieces. So they're kind of two videos that are completely the opposite but can work in conjunction with each other. So all of those classics are pieces you probably need as your staples and then you can inject any of these one or two trend things that you particularly like, have your eye on, maybe you already own, can borrow off a friend, or if you want to um, invest in one of these purchases for the new season. So um, hopefully those two videos will work really nicely together. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. As I said, it's all about um, wearable trends and how you can access them in a really easy way. And I think all of these pieces tick that box. So hopefully it's been useful. Always let me know um, in the comments below what you like the best, give me any feedback, etc. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.